Right, so on some of my videos on Serbia, someone asked how hard is it to get around Serbia. Now, I did a definition of a get around, had zero results. Um, and anyway, 50th overall, you know, it is what it is, not great. But first UCI, so can't complain. So we're going to go through how fast you actually need to be. And I think you literally can get around a UCI race. Obviously, they depend on status, on uh, how hard they are, but on minimal watts. So this actually didn't upload because I was like, this is actually terrible. So this was like week before Serbia, went out to do a threshold test, uh, was in Wales, you know, was actually like pretty keen to be fair, like drove to Wales, I was, I was keen, did some 4020s, you know, felt okay, was like, right, we're ready to go, found a climb, it wasn't great because my normal testing climb was done anyway, uh, 307 normalized, I mean, 305 average, obviously there was a bit where I couldn't pedal because we were going around a corner, but you know, you look at this, it was like 308 watts, Hare 182. I was like terrible. Anyway, basically, if you think my max 20 minutes, like this was all, honestly like I was so bad at the end of it. Let's say, you know, without some downhills, we'll be nice to Charlie. We'll say 310. It's like 5.1 watts per kilo for 20, which is like distinctly average. Um, especially when you're my weight. Like, you know, if you're 78 kilos, fair enough, that's strong. But when you're 60 kilos... If you're not doing five, I mean, like, you're not going to be good at bike riding really, really, you know, a decent level. But anyway, this was the first stage. And, you know, it was it was not crazy hard. Um, I got I made some moves, but like overall, 230 normalized, like less than four watts per kilo. Pretty chill. First climb, 5.4. Really not too bad, actually. Second climb, 4.1, fine. Last climb, 5, fine. Like, none of it is hard. It's just, like, annoying all day. Like, it was just draggy. And I didn't really eat enough and all the rest of it. This climb was a little bit more of an effort. You can see here it was up to, like, 208 for four minutes. But, again, nothing crazy. We then had, like, a nice sort of actual motorway part where it was real easy, like 140 watts. It was really pleasant. Um, And then second to last climb was a little bit harder, but still not that spicy, like... 310 watts for four minutes i tried to help my like teammates in to get into decent position at the bottom um and i mean i had a sh this climb i did literally did nothing it was like 250 watts i actually sat up like i did like 400 for a bit here you can see and then i really sat up because it was just nothing was going to happen but you can see like it was like 420 watts gap started opening i was like well, i just can't do that so again again get around where did i finish 45th on the stage i was only like um well i was thing is i was like three minutes 40 back but obviously the break took a minute and 40 so i was like what about a minute 40 back so not great but again like none of those numbers are very hard for the first stage so like again not a crazy get round stage two um this would have been even easier if i didn't go super hard at the beginning you'll see here like the first 20 minutes was like 310 or 306 normalized for me um, which is why like that threshold test isn't really accurate because I know I can do more numbers or whatever, but I was quite fresh. Anyway, you can see here like 306 normalized. First climb out the gates was actually quite hard today. I did like 380 watts or something. Um, this bit here was like, yeah, 390 for, for three minutes, which is like not insignificant. But the thing is you could have just not ridden as hard as me. Like I was attacking and stuff. You can see like here. So yeah. Again, this climb, I did actually get spat, but that was more from position than anything else. But you can see here, like, this bit here was, like, 3.30 for five minutes or something. Like, overall, I think I did five minutes at 3.30 or something. So, it's not much, really. Five and a half. The watts per kilo all wrong, because I just put my weight as 58, because funny, but I'm not actually 58. Um, I went most of the time of the year. Uh, again, this climb was, like, 3.50, so, like, 5.8. 5.3 it was a bit more than that to be fair it was like five and a half or three and a half minutes it was a, you know it was a little spicy here and there but nothing crazy and then you can see this bit the run into the bottom will ignore when i had to chase my teammates it was pretty chill as well so this was easy 240 normalized again like second stage yeah but but again like none of these are like crazy really are they like not you're not like wow that looks impossible to get around this stage obviously was like the hilliest stage and to get a good result really hard but again like just to get around super super easy again so the first the first day the first day was like the first climb was like 300 watts for eight minutes which was not too bad um so like five watts per kilo this again was like five watts per kilo this i was in the bunch i did quite a lot of attacks early on like you can see that first like um that it wasn't cr as hard as the second stage though you can well it was 290 normalized so like 
you know, actually that was on the climb, sorry. But yeah, anyway, and then we got into the position you can see here. I was actually on the front. I actually did something on the front and rode like 260 watts. And like 260 watts is enough to be like on the front and no one even is even competing to try and get into position. Maybe people didn't know the climb was coming up, but anyway. You can see on the climb, like I held on, I think this part here. So it was like 310 watts, but it was some downhill. And this was like 305 watts was what it was. Like I just wasn't going well, do you know what I mean? Like none of these numbers are bonkers for like six minutes. Um, I rode the whole, this section of the climb at like 270 watts um, and was like in the gruppetto and it was fine. And then you can see over the top, it's it's pretty chill. Um, all in all, that whole climb was like 204, 240 watts, two, like 260 watts, this is like four, 4.3 for an hour. It's not crazy. Um, this was like four watts per kilo. No, not even, nah, it wasn't, it was like three and a half. This was real easy. It was a bit long. I didn't like, this group was like actually super chill. Like the gruppetto was really calm. Um, this again was like, like literally like three watts per kilo, like three and a half maybe, but not much. This was like, again, four, um, but it wasn't, it was like three and a half cause I'm not 58 and then just soft tap in. So all in all, again, sub four watts per kilo significantly like three and a half. So this was the queen stage. Like I didn't do well on the queen stage. So stage two, um, I had to help my teammate by basically I would have, so I lost like um, 48 seconds, but like, obviously that was just because I helped my teammate. It was like the get round was, was done if I hadn't, if my teammate hadn't crashed. Um, and on this stage, I lost loads. I was like 23 minutes down. So, you know, like it was pretty like, you know, pretty noodly, um, but, we can go into uh, so one of my friends who finished. So this guy, he said that he, I don't know if his numbers are right. He said he did like six watts per kilo or something for like uh, the 20 minutes, which I don't think he did on the main climb. What I could tell was Archie was like a uh, super strong bloke. I made the video about him the other day. Um, he did like 5.6 on this climb. His palm is on his overread, so it might be like five and a half. But that sounds right, right? It was like 20 minutes at five and a half, five point three. 5.3. Uh, I think the second group was a bit easier to be in. Like, um, some of my friends got dropped and then got back on. Um, and then, sorry, to, um, I'm going around too quickly. Um, so that's the wrong, yeah, so five and a half on that climb, then 4.8, um, then five, and then uh, five and a half. So definitely like hard, like this is a hard, like, you know, to be second group. But again, like none of the numbers are impossible. I think the thing with the UCI racing is just weird. Like none of the numbers look hard, but then it is just a bit hard. Uh, like, do you know what I mean? It, I, I don't know. I'll tell you like you've done them. It's just like naggingly annoying. Like there are just random points where it just kicks off and that's what makes it hard. Um, so yeah, anyway, like the point is, is that like, this is hard for sure, you know, to be with the the guys at the very front, like the bike aid people put five minutes into everyone else. You know, that's um, that's definitely hard for sure. However, to be in, you know, my group where we just like soft tap along at three watts per kilo, nah, it's not hard. Um, stage four is actually my best day in terms of legs. Like, so climb out the gate was 260 watts, which was chill. Um, so that's like, yeah, 4.2, like probably like 4.3 normalized. Obviously average is closer to like four, uh, or like four and a bit. Um, on the first climb, but that's 4%, so quite easy to sit in. Um, and then we had the next climb, which was actually a bit harder. It was like 298 watts, so that's like 4.7, 4.8. Um, and this here is like 5 watts per kilo again. So, you know, it's like decent. You can see the VAM's like not crazy. Um, next climb again, um, I actually got spat on the descent. I had more issues descending on this stage. I did not enjoy it. But you can see here, like it was like, you know, a little bit hard, 300 this climb was noodling. This climb was noodling again, like super, super chill. Um, oh, she knows a little bit harder, but nothing crazy. Um, and then we had a big descent where I lost loads of time because I'm not great at descending, but we'll gloss over that. Well, I was good at descending. I got top 200 down the Glibia and then I just bottled it. Um, and then this climb here is actually a little bit spicy, like 350 watts for two and a half minutes. Um, and then this was actually the only climb I got dropped all day. And that was just because they started riding really hard, like 400. And I was uh, not enjoying life. But I managed to get back on, no stress. Took some time, to be fair. I was um, I was motor pacing behind some lorries. You'll, you'll see this part here. I was absolutely flying along. Uh, 51k an hour on 220 watts. But anyway, all in, 250 normalized for the day. So this was the hardest stage. And my result, again, <laughs> um, was, is like I got a puncture. 
So although I finished 63rd, I was 33 seconds down, um, if that makes sense. So GC wise, I didn't lose time. I don't know how to just explain it. Um, so anyway, yeah, basically I finished in the same group as these lot. I don't know how they figured it all out, but anyway. Yeah, so that's how hard it is to get around a UCI race. Basically, conclusion is not that hard. If you can do about 5.2 to 5.1 watts per gear for 20, you can get around a UCI 2.2. Um, no worries. So, um, yeah, not not crazy hard uh, all up. And none of them were, yeah, not like... You know, obviously, I didn't get a good result. Uh, you know, it's, for my first UCI, it's it's fine. Um, you can see like fifty people out of seventy four, but more people started. A lot of people DNF'd. Um, so you know, it was like it's alright. Finished halfway down the bunch, but um, yeah, definitely not unbelievable performance. Uh, but yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope that you found this video useful slash informative. Um, I should hopefully be doing some more UCI races next year. Uh, so I will be hopefully in better condition and we'll be able to get some results.